We are going to perform octoloni double diffusion for antigen antibody pattern. The objective of this experiment is to learn antibody antigen reaction and illustrate octoloni double diffusion. The material required for this experiment is glassware, measuring cylinder, beaker, alcohol, distilled water, incubator, vortex mixer, spatula, micropipette tips, and moist chamber. Now we will prepare 1x SA buffer. For that we need 10 ml of 1x SA buffer and add 1 ml of 10x SA buffer to 9 ml of sterile distilled water. Nine ml water. This is 10x SA buffer. We'll take one ml of 10x SA buffer using a micro pipette. Now we have prepared 10 ml of 1x SA buffer. Now we will prepare agarose gel. For that we need 0.1 gram of agarose powder mixed in 10 ml of 1x SA buffer. 0.1 gram agarose, 10 ml of 1x buffer. Now we will put this solution in oven at 55 to 60 degrees Celsius. Till the agarose gel is in oven, we have cleaned this glass lab with alcohol. And this is the template we are going to use. We have placed the glass slab over the provided template. Put 5 ml of agarose gel on the glass plate. Now leave the gel to set for 30 minutes. Using a gel puncture, make wells. Make wells, wells exact over the template using a gel puncture. We have made all the wells well on position. These are provided antibodies and anti antigen and anti serums. We have three type of anti serums X, Y, and Z, and six types of antigens. Mark the wells as X, Y, and Z. Pour 10 microliter of anti serum X into well, 10 microliter of antibody X1, 10 microliters of X2 antigen. Similarly, put Y antiserum, then Y1 antigen and Y2 antigen and then Z antiserum and then Z1 and Z2, Z2 antiserum. Keep this glass plate in a moist chamber overnight at 37 degrees Celsius. After incubation, observe the pattern formed between antigen and antiserum wells. If pattern X or pattern of identity is observed between the antigens and the antiserum, it indicates that the antigens are immunologically identical. And if the pattern Y or pattern partial identity is observed, it indicates that the antigens are partially similar or cross-reactive. And if the pattern Z or pattern of known identity is observed, it indicates that there is no cross reaction between the antigens. That is, the two antigens are immunologically unrelated. This was all about octoloni double diffusion antigen antibody pattern experiment. Thank you.